Welcome! So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you or teach you on how to connect ExpressVPN to PS5. So if you want to know how I did it, just keep on watching. So first of all, you need to set up ExpressVPN. So if you haven't already, you will need to sign up for an ExpressVPN subscription and set it up on your computer or mobile device. Ensure you have your ExpressVPN username and password ready. Obtain DNS server addresses. ExpressVPN does not have dedicated app for PS5, so you will need to use their media streamer DNS service. Go to the ExpressVPN website and sign into your account. In my in the My Account section, go to DNS settings. And note down the two DNS server address provided. Configure network settings on PS5. On your PS5, navigate to settings from the main menu. Next, choose network. In the settings menu, select network and then settings. Set up internet connection. Choose set up internet connection and select either Wi-Fi or LAN depending on your connection. After that, you need to choose connection method. Select your preferred connection method, as I said earlier, Wi-Fi or LAN cable. After that, customize network. So in the next menu, choose custom, then IP address settings. For IP address settings, choose automatic, for DHCP host name, choose Do Not Specify. And for DNS settings, select Manual for it. Enter DNS server addresses. Enter the primary and secondary DNS server addresses you obtain from ExpressVPN's media streamer DNS service. Now for MTU settings, choose Automatic. For proxy server, select do not use. And the last one is to test connection. So after completing the setup, choose the test internet connection to ensure everything is working correctly. If the test is successful, your PS5 should now be connected to the internet through ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN's media streamer DNS service will help route your PS5 traffic through their servers, providing th some benefits of VPN protection. However, please note that media streamer DNS does not provide the full VPN functionality, such as encrypting your connection or changing your IP address. And that's it. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you won't miss a video. See you on the next one and have a great day!